would like to invite Professor Dr. Rajdeep Dutta. His topic would be on phytotherapeutics, narrow interventions of different narrow particles in medicinal herbs, NRC therapeutic effects. Please welcome, sir. Myself, Professor Rajdeep Dutta, are representing the R&D head of Renatus Wellness Private Limited. We are the company are making some nano uh, structure based some supplements who can directly benefit the health. So our first topic is nano intervention of different nanoparticles in medic medicinal herbs, enhancing therapeutic efficacy, obviously a Renatus Wellness study. So first, why nanomaterials, why nanotechnology? revolution in nutraceutical sectors. Nanomaterials has revoluted various industries because by the help of nanomaterials can right now we, we have the lots of points which can elaborately say we can enhance the bioavailability by the help of nanotechnology. Enhance the bioavailability by the help of nanotechnology. Definitely Bioavailability, why, why it is bioavailability? Bioavailability, that's why the nano size particles that help the larger surface area to volume ratio leading to improve the solubility. That means when the nanomaterials can solubility 100% soluble in the body, that's why it is nano. Targeted drug delivery, by the coloring of cells, we can directly target the, those cells where actually the problem is occurring. So by the help of nanotechnology, again we can directly, through nanomaterials, we can directly deliver the target drug delivery. There is a very crucial factor of dose. The all problems comes, the higher dose of taking supplements and the medicine. Am I right, sir? So to control this point, because it can, it can having its nano level, it can directly penetrate the blood brain barrier in a very short period of time. Because our nanomaterials, our nanoparticle size is much more smaller than, that means at least 50,000 times smaller than blood particles. That means RBC. So, when it dissolves with the blood, it can directly penetrate the blood brain barrier. So definitely, it can directly more effective when it can soluble in our body after taking with some waters and, uh, and other soluble uh, soluble whatever it's uh, need to be taken. Another point is encapsulation of volatile compound. Some volatile compound like phenolphthalein, benzene, pyridine, lots of you know volatile compounds comes by the agriculture, maybe the source materials, it can come. Or maybe in for, uh, environmental factor it can also come how we can contaminate this particular volatile compound because this is an organic so the encapsulation of the volatile compound will be the solution some bioactive compounds easily evaporates leading loss of their benefits nano slow release nanomaterials can be engineered to release nutrition gradually over time the sustained release ensure a more constant nutrient supply reaching the need of the frequent dosing. Other part, nano encapsulation can be done by the different way and technology. Here you can show the pictures where I can ensure you there is lots of pseudos, nano encapsulation, nano gel. These are the variant of nanotechnology formulations. Enhancing the bioavailability and biocompatibility is a major part of nanotechnology in the field of health supplements. Nutraceutical researchers focus on the improving the properties and the formulation. Nanomaterials play the pivot roles in achieving better bioavailability and biocompatibility. Key factor of the include particle size, particle shapes, and surface properties. Particle size manipulations. These are also a very good points. Particle size manipulation because being a nanometrius, we can directly trigger or we can directly control the drug delivery, the efficacy. Because if we 
create the big size big size molecule it cannot penetrate the blood barrier blood brain barrier as like as nano molecule can do nano molecule can penetrate so we can control the particle size and we can control the therapeutic efficacy also like a regulator so smaller particles can penetrate cellular barriers more effectively and definitely what i am actually discuss previously improve dissolution rates due to the reduced particles size enhanced nutrients delivery so we can control the nutrients delivery also by the means of nanotechnology now the nano encapsulation techniques the techniques like lysosomes and nano emulsions enhance the nutritional stability nano encapsulation preservative bioactive compound preventing degradation no need of preservative so we can create that kind of you know supplement which is apart from the preservative no needs of preservative is needed because the cell life already is standard by the means of this nano technology so this is also another part of making this kinds of health supplements then advanced delivery system nano materials can enable targeted and controlled de delivery of nutraceuticals nano liposomes nano measles allow to efficient nutrition transport nano particles can release their contents in the response to the specific triggers we can i have, again i already discussed the we can coloring the cells and we can target at that particular cells which needs the proper nutrition we can deliver the nutrition for the target cell by the help of nanotechnology because it can work like a brahmos targeted missile which can directly penetrate on the source where it is pointed the role of immune system interactions nano particle properties like size surface charge influence immune interactions nano particles can modulate immune response for the therapeutic purpose tailoring nano materials can enhance their compatibility with the immune system it can directly affects our immune also so another part is that important in phagocytosis and pinocytosis what actually the nutrition nutrients cross the cellular level or penetrate the cellular level by the means of phagocytosis and pinocytosis the nano particles can be recognized and effectively engulfed by the immune cell through phagocytosis so the phagocytosis process can be more increased by the help of nanotechnology we can also control and trigger by the help of nano technology this is how we can develop that karayu we can directly prove how our karayu is effective for the human body here you can see the graph of peak of 7.7 or 5 you can see the peak and the other molecules have been peak you are actually uh, graph in front of you for the respect of time gcms and cms and chromatogram is is this is and then again i would like to share there is a there is lots of you know compound that means vitaferin curcumin these are all percentage of body cellular extraction rate you can observe by this chart 95% 84% 82% 94.5% of the piperines six glycerols these are all organic bioactive compound which is found in our karayu by the help of tulsi and all medicinal herbs which is incorporated to making this kinds of you know health supplements which is really beneficial for our body which is directly effects for the copd patients chronic obstructive pulmonary disease i would like to say something uh, about which is discussed on the diabetes uh, but the thing is that uh, the modern modern concept of diabetes is actually the insulin resistance you can directly measure insulin resistance by having a test which we have already completed in sofia university california the name of the test is c peptide where you can directly directly can measure the pancreas beta cell percentage how much beta cell actually active in your body you can directly check by the taking test of c peptide and if you want to check that your organic insulin cannot penetrate the cellular level why there is a main obstruction the main obstruction is insulin resistance you all already said about the insulin resistance but i just want to add that by the help of test name is homa ir homeostatic model assessment test ir means insulin resistance 
by the taking of this test you can directly measure how much insulin resistance actually gives the uh, main barrier to penetrate the organic organic insulin to the cellular insulin that's why i have seen lots of patients from india and abroad and i found that c peptide level all the c peptide level is very much okay only 30% if your beta cell is active then your body is high enough to produce your organic insulin so the main problem is to reduce the insulin resistance if you reduce the insulin resistance by taking obviously uh, different kinds of you know uh, methods which is madam already said uh, another another sir is said most probably yesterday uh, the, tomorrow uh, most probably uh, so at that point uh, we can directly say he, you can you can take this also technology but the main functional fung fundamental area to reduce the insulin resistance and if you can check the insulin resistance continuous monitoring you can directly achieve non diabetic family so here you can directly combat with the diabetes and our motto is to diabetes free india disease free india and diabetes free world and this is free world thank you once again to present myself once again thank you if you would like to share the how do you make the nano part yeah the technology yeah so i just request you to this is not can be presented in very small presentation you can directly uh, see my spinjal link where i i have already discussed within the uh, international journal and uh, i myself all, uh, already uh, making a silver nano particle which is very much lower most probably within the asia and europe the lowest molecule has been done by me that's only 2 nanometer it's so it's silver it's a silver nano particle that is right so so i i hope samajhdar ke liye ishara hai kafi hai i hope uh, you can understand what i mean to say so if you go through my channel you can definitely sort it out how can i actually deliver these things so you need to suppose your product is penetrating the membrane that's how it's going to work inside yes yes so it's a cellular level or not yeah definitely cellular level and but being of this nano level that's why it's it's penetrated the cellular level right because cellular level always and the thing is that by the help of one one thing another need to be added uh, in in respect of you know liver liver directly identifies it because this is not treated as a foreign foreign particles because these are all orga organic core particles so there is no you know uh, uh, resistance has been done by the liver which is actually done by in the field of allopathy and the, all the other process okay once again thank you thank you thank you thank you